Hello, everybody. Tom Nappy here, and welcome to this segment of the Hopkinton Hangout Hour. And today we are joined by uh, numerous participants with the SUA International Organization. We have uh, Shova Sharma with us, among a few others. But before we uh, introduce everybody else, Shova, can you introduce yourself and explain uh, what SUA, uh, excuse me, SUA International is uh, about and how the organization got started? Thank you so much, Tom, for giving me opportunity again to talk to here today. So my name is Shova Kanal Sharma. I live in Hopkinton Legacy Farm. I'm an executive member of Seva International. I'm a treasurer of Legacy Farm North and board member of PJB and Hopkinton Women's Club. Seva means selfless service. Uh, so Seva International is a Hindu-based nonprofit organization. It was founded in India in 1989 and USA 2003. Seva is active in uh, 20 countries and 40 states in USA. So SEVA main goal is to serve humanity irrespect of, irrespective of race, color, religion, gender, or nationality. That's terrific. You. And you guys do some uh, wonderful work throughout many countries around the world. And we'll get into what you're working on uh, right now and some of the other stuff you have coming up. But before we get into the details about the project, and uh, what you're all currently working on. Uh, let's go around the table and just have each of you uh, introduce yourself, talk about your background a bit, and uh, how you got involved with the SUA International Organization. Uh, I guess we could start with um, Shova. Oh, and then uh, Shova, maybe you could just uh, cue the people up to uh, introduce themselves and talk a bit about their background. Okay. So, you know, um... So like I said, you know, I'm part of Seva International since last couple of years. And uh, with me, with the Seva Food Drive, now Madhuri um, joined and, and she's uh, helping with South Legacy side for us because I live in North side of Legacy Farm. So I would like to introduce uh, um, Madhuri and she can talk about what are the projects we have working on with Seva. Madhuri. Yeah, hi, I'm Madhuri Vaze. Um, I'm a now board member of uh, SEVA International as well as a co-chair of social media and for Hopkinton Women's Club. Uh, I enjoy volunteering and helping the community. So I was a part of the mask project where I helped uh, last year to make mask gowns and caps for healthcare workers. So when Shoa, um, so actually I like SEVA guiding principle like servicing, uh, like a service about self and unity in diversity. So when Shoa asked me to join the core team, I become an active volunteer and member for a different projects. So currently uh, we have uh, different projects going on. Um, this is like a Feed the Hungry project. Also we have- Disaster relief. A disaster relief uh, program and also the family services. So we have uh, different programs going on hand in hand, hand, in hand across the US and around the country, uh, around all the world, I should say, because there are a lot of other countries are also involved in the SEVA international projects. Thank you, Madhuri. Now I would like to um, invite the coordinator. Last year, me, Madhuri, and a lot of other people volunteered. But this time, you know, um, my son Subhanji, he coordinated this project. Uh, so I would like Subhanji to uh, give introduction of him. Hi, my name is Subhanji Kanal. Uh, I'm studying in 11th grade at Hopkinton High School. Um, I've lived in Legacy Farms Hopkinton for the past four years. Uh, I've been doing an internship program with Sewa International. And uh, I've been volunteering at Sewa for the last few years when my mom uh, first started coordinating the Sewa Food Drive and the uh, Mass Project. Terrific. Thank you. Um, Tom, you want me to continue with others or you want me to you to join that? Uh, yeah, I'd like everybody to uh, get in there and just uh, introduce <laughs> okay. themselves a little bit. Yeah, okay. Then I'll continue then. So now I would like to invite Dhanu. Uh, he is not just a high school student, not just a volunteer, but he has extra skill. I found out after he joined this project, 
after finishing Seba Food Drive, he told me I've written one article and I was very surprised. I he wrote a very nice article he write for um, newspaper. I want him to introduce himself. Uh, hi, my name is Danu Sankul Kumaran. Um, I'm a sophomore at Hopkinton High School and I've been living in Legacy for the past two years. Uh, I started volunteering at Seba just this past uh, month when I started with this project. Um, I think it was a great experience for me working. And uh, at the end of it, I decided to like write an article about it, about my experience along with others. And yeah, I helped publish it on the Sewa website. Thank you so much, Danu. Um, now we would uh, like to invite um, Devyansh. Can you introduce yourself, please? Um, hi, my name is Devyansh and um, I'm a sophomore at Hopkinton High School. Um, I got involved into Sewa through um, uh, Shubanje, which uh, he introduced me to this, and I just got involved into this project, and I'm probably going to be volunteering for more. Thank you, Devyans. And last but not least, our favorite Krutas. So can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, uh, my name is Krutas Parma, and I'm a, I'm a junior at the Hopkins in High School, and I've been living in Legacy 2 for the past three years. Um, I actually heard about this program uh, from Shubanje as well, and I felt that as a high schooler, I do not have like too many ways of helping out because I can't like help financially. So I thought donating my time to this food drive would be like a great opportunity to help the people in need uh, uh, who need it the most. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, there were other volunteers. I'm so sorry because of, you know, limitation. We ha can only invite few kids. So thank you so much for other kids, um, you know, who volunteered in this one. Um, though you are not uh, here, but your picture will be here. And thank you for everything you guys have done. And we will, I hope you will, you will continue volunteering and inspire other youth to volunteer as well. Back to you, Tom. Well, it's uh, terrific work you all are doing. Uh, so can you explain the current project uh, you're working on and what all of uh, the roles are of uh, everybody here? And uh, anyone can just feel free to jump in. Yeah. So Subhanji, um, I think that question is for yeah, Subhanji. Talk about this. Um, as of now, we've already collected the food and uh, we've been started distributing the food to uh, four different pantries. Uh, some of them being a project just because, uh, Framingham Shelter, uh, Brockton Church and the Westboro Food Pantry. Uh, my role in this food drive project, it was to organize and um, coordinate which route we will drop the flyers and uh, where to pick up the food. Uh, due to COVID, we even offered to do a pickup to uh, the houses uh, we offered the flyers to. Um, I think that's why this year uh, the food drive was doubled compared to last year. That's terrific. And um... thank you. Uh, were, were there a number of towns that distributed food to this program? Uh, was it a like a bunch of different food drives? Um, yes, there was also one more in uh, Westboro. My, uh, my fellow friend in Westboro, he's also um, doing the same thing I'm doing here, uh, organizing and uh, coordinating uh, uh, the flyers and like which route they will be delivering throughout their neighborhood. And they've also started distributing throughout the pantries as well. Wonderful. Yeah, and there are other town also, Tom. Um, in Hopkinton, uh, these boys did it. And uh, in other town, because, uh, you know, Suhas was inspired with Subhanje, what he did here with his friends. You know, they, he thought like he can have fun at the same time. You know, they are doing social service, and, you know, giving back to community. So he was inspired and he did with uh, 23 volunteers over there, but there are in Shrewsbury in other location in Massachusetts. So entire Massachusetts Seva has done a food drive. That's terrific. And um, yeah. the food drives, uh, they go to four different organizations, you said? Yeah, from Hopkinton, like we didn't expect this big, you know, I did love, me and Madhuri did last, but this year is like, it's literally double. So we were... Last year, we were able to give a project just because and Bay Path in Marlboro. But this year, food came so much. 
from Hopkinton, we distributed to more, you know, like Madhuri said, let's distribute to more, more other part of the state, you know, our Massachusetts. Excellent. Yeah. Right. A little freeze there. Uh, it's a windy day out there. So uh, could be a little interference from that. We'll hope for the best. Uh, so Shabanje, uh, you started this project. Uh, what inspired you to do this project? And could you talk about uh, how you coordinated everything? Uh, since my childhood, I've seen my mom volunteer. And since last year, I was more involved in helping my mom with these activities. And I saw how our small effort could go a long way and be very impactful for the families in need. Um, I feel that everyone's very blessed that they have a hot meal on their table, but some are not that fortunate. And um, I coordinated this project by uh, splitting up the groups and we each uh, took our own lanes. Yeah. Terrific. And uh, the next question I was going to ask you is uh, what was your strategy during the project, but you kind of explained it there. Uh, is there anything that you could add as far as the strategy? Uh, uh, was there yeah. a lot of uh, like uh, promotion materials and stuff like that? Well, uh, my goal for this project would be very efficient and make it fun for everyone who's volunteering. So uh, since we're just a bunch of friends who wanted to help make an impact in the community, I think we all gelled together. And this is one of the reasons why uh, the project went so smoothly. That's terrific. And uh, Shovi talked about this a little bit already, but uh, you coordinated <laughs> the uh, SUA International Food Drive and donated food uh, for two pantries. Could you talk about how the project went and the result? Yeah, last year, you know, uh, Seva was more active in Hopkinton because, uh, you know, I, I moved here and I was a member. So we started the Seva food drive with, uh, uh, with my, I started with my other few other volunteers uh, because, you know, there was no COVID. So it was easy. Like I took few kids, little kids came with us and we went few house door to door and, try to spread the word, but, uh, and then we start collect the food. And like I said, I'm part of the PJB board. So we found out what their needs are. Uh, like in first hand, I will know like what are the food items needed. So what we did is, or whatever items was most needed to PJB because we live in Hopkinton, we have to, we provide it to projects because, and the rest items, they were not much needed like canned food and all those stuff. And we found out Bay Path, um, elderly they wanted canned foods so that's how like i divided we divided like you know this is working perfectly what they need what they have and what they don't need it's going to the right place that's terrific and uh maduri um, you uh, was someone uh, saying something uh, uh maduri you mentioned uh, that you just joined uh sua uh, international a few months back can you talk about how your experience has been and how you have liked working with this organization uh, it is such a uh, great organization. I have been heard about SEVA from last five, six years. So I was like uh, volunteering the other things, whichever is coming on my way. But when since um, I joined the SEVA, it is so uh, uh, close to my heart because their beliefs are same as I, what I believe in service about self and uni unity in diversity and they go all the grassroots programs, they, they uh, coordinate with the local volunteers and reach remote places. So everything, everyone is doing very selflessly. That's the best part. And uh, everyone is so cooperative. Everyone wants to help each other and raise above our, ourselves. So that's made me such a, a fortunate to be a part of SEVA. That's and terrific. Tom, I want to add one more thing here is, you know, uh, Seva, though we are in 40, you know, 20 country and 40 states, you can't believe we have only five uh, five employees. So the, it's wow. such a big organization, but only five employees, all our volunteers. CP, like anything you like, you know, um, it's, it's amazing. You hardly find all this. So whatever people donate, like 98%, like 99% goes to the cause. You know, that, so it's that's the biggest thing. Five employees for the world? Entire world, yes. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> unbelievable. 
exactly. So it's pretty much all uh, volunteer based organizations. So uh, it must be yeah. some uh, great volunteers uh, across the world for sure. Uh, so also, you, also, oh, I just oh. want to add actually uh, for our distribution this year was more than what we did. So we uh, um, definitely like we did um, uh, distribute the food to PGB in Hawkington, also the Turning Point Shelter in Framingham, also the Worcester County Food Bank and our um, Universal uh, Missionary Church in Brockton, which is very hard heated. So, and also we are planning to distribute some of the food uh, to Westboro Food Pantry. So we are reaching to more and more people. And also I just wanted to say, because of the storms this year, we couldn't reach out to whole community in Hopkinton, but our plan next year is to reach out to whole community, everyone in Hopkinton and spread the word and make more youth volunteers to involve in this. Excellent. Big shout out to do all these four, you know, 16 volunteers because they went door to door to distribute these flyers to 400 houses. It's, it's a lot in winter, like such a cold weather. And there are a few kids who went in phase two, uh, like three, four kids, young kids, like elementary school kids in snow. They went door to door in their neighborhood. This is amazing. Yeah, it definitely gave me a lot of energy. <laughs> so I'm going to continue. <laughs> Just looking at it, right? <laughs> what are the towns that this branch of the organization is working in the most? I know Hopkinton is obviously one yes. of them. And I'm pretty sure you're based in Framingham, I want to say. Um, no, uh, Framingham. Uh, we are distributing Framingham right now. So Shrewsbury, uh, there are a lot of volunteers. I'll see volunteers in Shrewsbury and other. Um, Shrewsbury is the one. Uh, because you know there is a Worcester Food Bank, so we try to focus on big, uh, big area mm -hmm. where food is most needed. And uh, Brockton, like uh, Madhuri, was you know wherever there is need, we are always there. So anybody say, oh, this pantry need food, and me and Madhuri do little little things. You know, it's we are just focusing on food drive today. It's never in, uh, like you know we do. Uh, we have done like a Christmas gift uh, program for a project just because uh, me and her. We work really hard to provide 60 gift cards and a lot of gifts for Christmas. So there are a lot of things we keep on doing in this community. So whenever there is need, we are always there. And also, I know the last time we talked to you, uh, you were doing Mask. a lot of COVID-19 <laughs> uh, protective gear, such as masks. And yeah. um, I believe uh, uh, the 90 volunteers as well, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, even my Subhanji helped me to make a gown. We were making with the plastic roll, uh, disposable gowns. Um, so, you know, last year, yeah, we had interview, like, you know, there were 90 volunteers uh, helped us, me with our Seva mask uh, project. It was very big. And Madhuri is here. Um, so, you know, she helped, uh, like, she's also part of that. That's, I think that's influenced her more what Seva does. Um, so, yeah, that that's last year we've talked. And this year is... Uh, we are doing food drive and there is more projects coming up. That's excellent. And um, is anybody here going to be working on uh, any other upcoming projects? And if so, can you explain them? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, Madhuri. yeah, as we said Thank in you. Seva, we, we do like a disaster relief as well as family services, uh, public hygiene, as well as child education program. But also uh, we are going to, add one more uh, thing about collecting the over-the-counter medical supplies because a lot of um, flexible spending account, you know, FSA account go wasted every year. And we realize that if we can utilize and collect all the blood pressure monitors or diabetic kits or other over-the-counter, which can go to all the food pantries or shelter wherever needed. So that's uh, uh, our goal for the March that we're going to do. And Oshawa is also doing uh, other Mangal Nidhi program for the, for the girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I think Subhanji is working on one project after this food drive. Can you uh, share Subhanji? And... Uh, so right now we just created flyers. Uh, we're going to be starting a arts arch class. Um, and uh in the class, they're going to be making crafts and uh, drawings. Uh, yeah. And all the funds will be going into the um, 
kids education to uh yeah they'll be going Family. to kids education on okay. educating kids yeah so our next project like he said you know it's uh we are doing an art 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 class program for the kids and the teacher conscience is from our neighborhood she's contributing her time and whatever you know per kids going to pay for the art will be $35 something very basic amount that donation going to go to um you know support a child for activities or anything related to kids um or family needs we will provide those funds to them a uh, 100% funds go there so that's uh, pretty amazing and after that uh, we will work on after the art projects uh, done with uh, in march we are planning to do a mangal nidhi project it will be a grand project it will be entire hopkinton we are trying to do as well as westboro also they already uh, showed interest like you know they want to um, do that program so we will talk more about that Tom next time. Absolutely. Uh, and if, if somebody wanted to get involved in the great work that you're doing and find out more information about the uh, SEVA International Organization, where could they go? They can go to www.sevausa.org or they can reach us out if they are local Hopkinton, they can reach us out. Um, you know, me and Madhuri is volunteering for SEVA here. Uh, mostly people know around this neighborhood. Uh, so, you know, they can go to website or next option is us. Yeah, we can help out to take the membership or I mean, it's a free membership. It's nothing much, um, but they can start involving in the projects and get self-involved. That's terrific. And uh, Danu, Danu is uh, trying to, uh, I think he will be a new intern for this year for SEVA. So um, I think uh, Danu and Krutas, can you guys talk about some uh, coming projects? Are you guys planning to involve? And um, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think this project like, really interested me and made me want to help make a difference and continue making a difference uh, in other people's lives. So like in the future, I, I'm going to like, I'm trying to apply for a 10 month internship program with Sewa. And uh, if I get accepted, basically you have to go to locations all across the state, uh, participating in events that raise food, similar to this, raising food, and other things, uh, other yeah. charitable things. What about Krutas? Um, like Shibanji mentioned, uh, we had a we have always small and big projects coming up. So something small like um, the arts class, making flyers for those. So uh, yeah, we do have a good bonding as we are all friends. But um, I would like to participate. It doesn't matter any small or big event that happens. Um, I will definitely participate because. These are one of the ways that I can help people uh, in need. Like, yes, I'm very privileged to have all these things. So just, um, and volunteering opportunities are also very limited due to COVID. So this uh, big uh, um, organization, they have a lot of volunteering opportunities. So I will de definitely take benefit in this. And um, Devyansh? Yeah, so um, as Dono and uh, Kurtart said, um, we're all like, one big friends and like we all go around helping people so i also would like to do the say mentorship and i also do boy scouts so like i'm trying to do as much as i can to like help people like other people in need with the say one the boy scouts so hopefully it should help thank you um so there are a few volunteers youth volunteers i really they are not here today so i want to thank them i want to uh, thank them with their names, you know, um, that's Vasishta, Sunit, Aditya, and Aryan, Hemankit, Parth, did I miss something, somebody, boys? Aryan. Aryan, thank you so much for what you guys did. You guys inspired not just your, your age group, but you inspired even us adults to do more. <laughs> Thank you. Back to you, Tom. And also, uh, I think you might have mentioned um, some details about this, but is the food drive still going on? Can people still donate items? And what type of items are you looking for? And and how would someone donate items? Yes. Thank you for asking these questions. I was waiting for this. Uh, like I said, you know, being part of the food pantry near home, right? Um, every week, uh, like, you know, board every week, we get review, like, what's, what's we need? And uh, I am, I... We always get like, you know, I'm very active in social media. So Kathy, thank you, Kathy, what you do. 
she always asks for clothes and all these items, but mostly needed items I found so far in most of the shelters are um, diapers, wipes, that's the most needed item, paper towels. And another important thing, a lot of me people miss out is teenagers. Teenagers item is so much missing. I'm just requesting everybody, think you guys are teenagers, go back to your age when you were a teenager, what are the items you needed? Those items, please donate to any shelter, any pantries, everybody's looking for that. Yeah, perhaps Especially school supplies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially with teen, you know, they want like a deodorant. Those things, mostly people don't donate, right? And those things, uh, when as you grow up, you need all those other, these kind of stuff. So that is more uh, scarcity in most of the pantries. Terrific. So it's not just food, there's also uh, some not other just items food. Yeah, yeah. Food well. is always needed, right? I don't want to insist too much on food. Food is always needed. But these are the items is mostly every time I ask them. And that's why I like when Madhuri talk about the medicine supply, which we can uh, take benefit of. You know, it's not people are using their money. It's just if they don't use that fund, it's going to like, you know, they will lose the money. So that's why we gave us a safe opportunity. That was Madhuri idea to like, OK, why not to ask them to buy um, medical supplies like a, a pressure machine, right? Blood pressure machine or a diabetic machine or a strips or, uh, you know, cold, uh, like a Benadryl, like uh, a Tylenol, all those stuff. Also, yeah, that's the thing. With this medical supplies, we are going to appeal everyone to donate if they have extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, you know, all the supplies that sometimes it's we don't use it as often in the home and we have in a bulk and sitting in. So they can definitely uh, donate because the shelters are really in need, like soaps, shampoos, conditioners, all the supplies. We, we accept everything. All right. And are these items listed on a website anywhere or the social media pages? Yeah, not in Seva because Seva is very big, you know, and a lot of projects. So I want to, uh, there is a, like, you know, we, we just, we just help uh, project just because, and there are other shelters as well. We are each connected with one, two shelters and a pantry. So, um, they can reach us out or they can directly go to uh, Project Just Because now. Uh, Project Just Because is not just local pantry. It's the entire Massachusetts. Right. So anybody from any 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 town, they can come and get the food. And mostly good thing I love about PJB is we don't ask social nothing. We just ask what they need, what's the name, what's the number. Very basic information. Yeah, especially for spreading the word out. Um, we are trying to reach out people with the WhatsApp group and even on the Facebook. So uh, social media, we keep posting it. And um, if it goes to the paper or as an edge cam, we can definitely make it big. Well, you all are uh, doing very great work out there. And we're happy to uh, get the word out about some of these great projects that you're working on. So uh, I just want to thank you all for joining us. And if there's any final thoughts, feel free. But otherwise, keep up the great work. And thanks so much. Thank you so much. I have to thank you. Like yeah, every time, you. whenever we need, you guys are always for us. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone who have donated, who have volunteered with their time, efforts, and everything. We are thankful for everyone. All right. Terrific. Thanks again. And... Uh, We'll uh, be talking to you down the road soon, I'm sure, about some of the other great programs you have coming up.